For all my team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. And they have brand new methods to transfer your coins over to your account in record time. Use the discount code NEPO at checkout. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the best team in FIFA. Before we get into today's video, if you could drop a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. Let's try and get this bang on 7,777 likes for the Bants. So if it gets close, stop. Today's team was sent in to us from Sky High Waffle. Great name. And he says, I've been using this team a lot. I love it. Bench are possible upgrades. We didn't use the upgrades from the bench. Um, you'll see the link to the team is in the description below. So you can go and see what the bench was. If I remember the link to the team, I probably won't. Um, the upgrades were basically just the better Bale, the better Rodriguez, the better Marcelo, the better Neymar. That was it. So we didn't use those because this is his team. So he's got Bale, Martinez, Rodriguez, Neymar, Carez, Maguarin, Juan Jesus, Miranda, Handanovic, Danilo and Marcelo. And what really took me about this team was it's actually relatively cheap. For as good as it is, um, you know, Charisma is a little bit expensive. Martinez is a little bit expensive. Guarín, Handanovic, and Danilo—they're all relatively cheap. Freddie Guarín here, you can get him for a fifty thousand coins. That's what I bought him for. Uh, Handanovic, not too expensive. A maximum of eighty-seven thousand. Danilo, another one, a maximum of a hundred thousand. You know, five, six hundred thousand. Mm, de depends, I guess, on Martinez. Sixty thousand, sixty thousand coins. What the fuck even is that? You can get him for 50,000 coins. What the fuck even is that? That's ridiculous. And then Charisma, the only one who's a little bit expensive. But to the best of my knowledge, see, he doesn't sell for his minimum. He's actually probably w worth around 200,000. And if EA ever decided to upgrade or update price ranges, that would be phenomenal. But this is a team we're going to go into five games with. I'm going to let you guys know how it plays and whether or not you should try it and whether or not it is indeed the best team in FIFA. Before we get into the games, if you want to link me your teams, twitter.com slash nepenthes or instagram.com slash nepenthes. You can either tag me in your pictures of your teams or tweet me a link to Foothead or Footwiz with your team. And don't forget to include the hashtag TBITF so that I know it is for the best team in FIFA. So guys, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, guys, as we go into the gameplay, as per usual, I'm showing you the games, the, the goals that I scored and the teams that I come up against. We've got five really good teams, and for the first time in probably ever for the best team in FIFA, we've had five really good players. Every single game I played was against someone who was just very, very good at FIFA. I haven't had that in such a long time, like especially because I play these games in a Gold Cup. You usually get like the odd good person, the odd really bad person, and then just a lot of average people. This time around, every game was tough. However, I won 5 out of 5 of the games, and that's largely down to this team. This team makes playing FIFA easy. So, so easy. Um, we're going to start with the defence, because I was a little unsure as to how to manage Miranda and Juan Jesus. Uh, they've got just interesting cards, because they both got decent pace, they've both got decent defending, and decent physical, but neither of them, or, yeah, neither of them have, like, outstanding anything. Um, especially the fact they've got really low dribbling and really low passing, which is strange for centre-backs to both have con like really low for those things. Sometimes, you know, you get the odd centre-back like Ramos or PK that has really nice passing or really nice dribbling like Boateng, like, like T David Luiz or Thiago Silva. You know, they've got some enhanced stats. But these two guys were just ball winners. Um, they, they literally just did a job. They stayed in defence. They did a job. And that was all they were there for. And it was really nice to, to play with a couple of centre-backs where you just knew they were going to defend great. Danilo was a right-back. The informed Danilo part of the Hullet gang is fantastic. Marcelo is a, is a left-back that I've used close on three or 400 games so far this FIFA, uh, FIFA 15. So the defence and goalkeeper were brilliant. Handanovic is good. As, as I've said in previous videos and, and many times, and I'll probably say it another hundred times, any, any goalkeeper, whether they're rated 82 or 92, they're going to play the same because of the way the shooting mechanics work and because of the way the goalkeeping mechanics work. There's not really much difference between any goalkeeper that you will ever use. So when you're building teams, I urge you guys to just ignore the goalkeeper and put whatever goalkeeper in fits your team. Um, Freddy Guarino was a bit interesting to me at CDM because he's got high medium work rates. Uh, he's very, very tall, but he has really low defensive attributes. So I, I looked at that and I was like, mm, not really interested in that. 
But I kind of remembered, I used Bale and Muller and Diego Costa at centre defensive mid. And the reason why I use those is because they've got really good physical and really good pace. And Guarian at six foot plus is exactly that as well. He does a great job in there. The only problem with this whole team um, was the fact that both Guarin and Rodriguez absolutely die by about the 70th minute. I don't know why both of them are just done. Like, uh, Guarin was injured three out of the five games and Rodriguez was pulling up every single game. Like, honestly, his, you know that thing where they're running and then they just pull with their hamstrings? Every single game for Rodriguez and three out of five games for Guarin. So the midfield needs a little bit of work. Um, or you just need to make sure you've got a decent bench where you can bring on maybe instead of Guarin, you can bring on like a Paul Pogba for a CDM and instead of Rodriguez, perhaps like a Modric or something to bring on as a cam just to just to freshen the team up and make sure you've got the best out of it for the full 90 minutes. On to the wings, you've got two five-star skillers now in the 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, uh, throughout the whole of FIFA this year. The wingers have been largely irrelevant. I did set the instructions to make them cut inside and get in behind. It didn't really have much of an impact on them or on the game. Um, they're, they're, like, they're just non-existent in the 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Don't understand why, but... It, the team still plays really well. James Rodriguez, one of my favorite cams in this game. And then we come to the two boys up front. So Gareth Bale, you know I love playing him a striker. And for me, he was the best player in this team because he just scored goals that he just shouldn't be able to score. However, Jackson Martinez is on another level of brilliant. 86 pace, 87 shooting, 89 physical and 84 dribbling with those four-star skill moves. My God, he was fun to play with. I, in the last, the best team in FIFA, I used his regular gold card and I loved it. In this one, this is the first time I've ever used his team of the season card and I absolutely loved it. He is so strong. He gets in the right positions all the time. He's got a beast of a shot on him. It, like, he's just great. Like, look at this. He steps inside, doesn't lose control of the ball, smashes it past the key, but he's just great to play with. And overall, this team is phenomenal. Now, you're going to have to pay about a million coins. I've put asterisks next to it because depending on price ranges and whether or not you want to go for the pink charisma or the gold charisma, and then also the same with the informs if you just want to go with the gold cards, then you can really, really reduce the price of this team. Um, I wouldn't suggest using the gold Martinez instead of the uh, blue Martinez because he's so cheap anyway. Forty or 50,000 coins for team of the season, Jackson Martinez, is just crazy. Uh, this goal kind of sums up how this team played, really. A, a great passing move all the way through. Goes to Martinez, crosses it into Bell. Bang! There's the goal. And uh, that, that signals the end, of the end of the game and the end of the video. This team was fantastic. Thank you to whoever sent it in. I appreciate the fact that I've got a really good team here. And, and using players that I've never really used before really makes me enjoy FIFA a lot more as well. So thank you for the person that sent that in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.